This is John with Cigar Trends Magazine. I'm at Tobacco Plaza, and I'm here with Randy, and we're going to go over how to season or prep your humidor, getting it ready for cigars. So the important step when you get a new humidor is the prep. And the reason you do prep is so that your humidification device doesn't have to work quite as hard, and also so you can start using it right away. So the deal is, when you get a humidor, it's generally going to be Spanish cedar, all the best are. Uh, and the wood's going to be bone dry, of course, it hasn't been used, so you want to give it a soft, you know, you want to wipe it down, give it a soft coating of distilled water. You can either use paper towel. If you do, though, paper towel will tend to start to um, denigrate and it'll leave like little whites, and you got to, you know, white things, you got to take them out. Or you can use a new sponge, unwrap a new sponge, a little distilled water, and give it a light, light coating. You don't want to shock it with too much, but a light coating will help. Then you have your humidification device. Uh, you're going to fill it usually with propylene glycol solution. This is Zycars, which is a good company. Um, and that'll make it so that your humidification device gives off the right amount of moisture. It's not just a sponge. It's something that's designed to evaporate, allow the water to evaporate at 70% humidity. And that's the right humidity for cigars. Temperature-wise, room temperature, 70 degrees, <clears throat> is ideal for cigars. Don't put them in the fridge. Stop putting your cigars in the fridge. It's terrible for them. It kills them. It's like putting them in the oven. It's too extreme one way or the other. So keep them out of the fridge. You're better off just leaving them out then. You know, in a plastic Ziploc bag. They'll stay better than they would in the fridge. In any event, so you give it a wipe down. You um, you put the moisture in your, humid, your, your humidifying agent, your humistat. You pop it on. And then you're good to go. Some humidors like this one have a hygrometer built in. This one's digital, which will be fairly accurate. The analog. They're kind of hit or miss. Sometimes they're not calibrated properly. You can calibrate it yourself which is another story. The truth is, you feel the cigars, they feel good. Don't worry too much about the numbers. It should be about 70 degrees, about 70%, 68, 72. And, uh, and that's all there is to it. Just give it a nice light coating, fill up a humidification device with some distilled water, put it in, and you'll be good to go in about, you know, just a couple of hours. Once the, the moisture wicks off of the surface of the wood, when you can't see it anymore, it will have pulled in to the wood, and then you can start using it right away. Now, how does the fact of where you get your cigars from go into the first-time use of a humidor? If you get your cigars from a place that doesn't take care of their cigars as well, is that going to matter? It's it's a problem. If you get dry cigars, you know, cigars that are properly humidified, when you put them in the humidor, it won't affect anything. They're just you moving them from one area that's humidified properly to another. If they're dry, they're going to act like sponges. They're going to pull the moisture out of the humidor. And if, they, if they're real dry and the humidor is working perfectly, they, they could even crack. They could pull the moisture in too quick and they'll expand and then the, the wrappers will crack and then there's not a heck of a lot you can do about that. So you always want to, should always buy cigars from a, a reputable uh, tobacconist, somebody who keeps their cigars properly. Number one, that means they care about what they're doing so they're going to get you the best quality cigars. Um, but number two is when you do go to, to keep them for any kind of period of time, they'll be as good at, as when you go to smoke them as they can be, you know, hopefully as when, as when you got them. Thank you very much. Sure.